complete without a classic beef burger. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beef burger patty as well as how to grill them perfectly. So for burgers, I really think it's all about the toppings. That doesn't mean you shouldn't start with good quality beef. And that's my first tip. I use beef that's about 20% fat. And if you have a local butcher that can grind fresh chuck for you, that's even better. You can keep the patties as simple as just beef, and that's great when you're starting great quality beef. But today, I'm gonna take it to the Southwest and add some spice to our burger patties. To the ground beef, I'm gonna add some diced jalapenos, some adobo sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, some chopped cilantro, and some salt and pepper, of course. Once we've got all our ingredients in the bowl, you wanna go ahead and just mix it up with your hands. And be careful here not to overwork the beef because you don't want the beef to become too tough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shape the patties. I'm gonna just gently press the meat together. You don't wanna press too hard or compact the meat too much. And I want them to be about three quarter inch to one inch thick and about four to five inches wide. When we start grilling the burgers, what's gonna happen is the center will expand. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make an indentation with my thumb in the center of each of these patties. So when it does expand during cooking, it'll do so nice and evenly. I've set up a rack and a baking sheet, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move the burger patties onto the rack. And I've done this so that any, if any liquids drip, it'll drip right into the baking sheet. Cover your patties and put them in the fridge. You wanna keep them in there for at least 30 minutes, and you can even have them in there for up to a day. Just remember to take them out about 30 minutes before grilling so they have time to come to room temperature before you start cooking. You wanna do this so you're not putting something cold onto a hot grill, which will cause uneven cooking. It's time to grill. I'm gonna turn on one burner, and because our burgers have a bit of fat in them, we can expect some flare-ups. Flare-ups happen when grease drips down and we get some flames. Some flames are good. A little bit of charring is always good. But too much where you get burning is not so good. And that's why we wanna have one burner off so you can move those burger patties into a safe zone. Before we put our patties on the grill, clean up all your grates and then salt and pepper those patties one last time. Burgers cook quickly, so it's all about high heat grilling, which means you can leave your cover open while cooking. Place your burgers on the grill where it's hottest. For medium rare, we wanna grill these three to four minutes on each side. And remember to salt and pepper the other side. While we're waiting for our burgers to syrup on its first side, I wanna give you two tips on grilling the perfect burger. First is, you, only, you wanna avoid flipping too much. You really just wanna flip once. So don't fuss with those burgers once they're on the grill. The second is, when you start to see those patties expand, resist the urge to press down on it. You're pressing all those delicious juices away. So just really let your burgers be and don't fuss with them too much. It's been four minutes and I'm gonna flip our burgers over. In the last minute of grilling, you can go ahead and put your cheese on if you're using cheese. And also, I like to toast the buns at this time. Burgers are done and I'm taking them off the grill. To keep the Southwest beef, I'm gonna chop my burgers with some homemade guacamole. 